Hello. Today I am going to explain about direct memory access concept. So here the data transfer between peripherals and the memory is a frequent activity in any computer system. There are three methods by which the data transfer can be done. Those methods are polling method, interrupt method and uh, direct memory access method. So here we already discussed about the polling method and uh, interrupt based method. Now we will discuss about the direct memory access. So here the word direct means the data can be transferred between a peripheral and a memory without the intervention of the processor. There is nothing but a direct connection is established between these two, nothing but peripheral device and the memory. Since the processor is effectively isolated from the data transfer function, it is left free to do other processing activities. But only such activities that do not require the use of the system bus. Because which is now being used for DMA. Thus DMA is used to transfer big blocks of data from or to memory and peripherals. So to do this we require a, a DMA controller. So now we will discuss here how this DMA controller will take the control of a, a system bus. So here we have a peripheral device is there and here we have a memory is there. So now this peripheral device wants to access this memory directly. To do this, this peripheral device first sends a, a DMA request to this DMA controller. When this DMA controller receives a signal from this peripheral device, it sends one signal that is a hold request to this 8086 microprocessor through the hold pin. So when this processor receives a signal from the DMA controller through the hold pin then it will complete the current bus cycle and after that this microprocessor sends one signal to this DMA controller that signal is hold acknowledgement. When this DMA controller receives that hold acknowledgement means that the processor released that system bus. So now the system bus will be under the control of DMA controller. After taking the control of this system bus, here it sends one signal to the peripheral device that is nothing but a DMA acknowledgement to this peripheral device. So now this peripheral device will access this memory directly through this data bus. So here the system bus is nothing but address bus, data bus and control bus. So this system bus now under the control of a DMA. So here this DMA controller will control that various types of operations like IO read bar, IO write bar, memory read bar and uh, memory write bar. So here when that system bus is under the control of DMA that microprocessor will do the other activities. Those activities do not require any system bus. So that type of activities can be done by this microprocessor. So, so after transferring the data between that peripheral and that memory device, this DMA controller will release that system bus. Now the system bus again under the control of a microprocessor. So now the system bus here, this address bus, data bus and the control bus, they are under the control of processor that when the peripheral device wants to access that memory directly again the same signals will be transferring between that peripheral device to DMA control and the DMA control to microprocessor so that again the system bus will be under the control of a DMA and now the direct memory accessing will be done after this completion of this direct memory accessing by this peripheral device again the system bus will be under the control of processor so this will be done when that peripheral device wants to access that memory directly. So this is about that 
need for a day ma nothing but need for direct memory access so thank you very much for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe to my channel open box education